All right, so Java 21 came out this week. Uh, there's some uh, pretty exciting features in there, right? So uh, sequence collections, record patterns, uh, pattern matching for switch, virtual threads. That's a, that's a pretty awesome one. Um, so, you know, like we want to start trying it, right? So um, one way to switch between Java versions is uh, SDK man. That's a tool that I like to use. Um, there's also Chocolatey for uh, for Windows users, so um, you know you can go to sdkman.io or to uh, chocolatey.org, and then um, you know and then uh, download and install it, and then you can switch it. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I've already downloaded, of course. Um, so here in my terminal, if I look and see what version I have installed, I have uh, Java 17 installed currently, and so with uh, sdkman, for example, I can do sdk install uh, Java and then uh, 21 of course right so uh, I'm gonna hit tab a couple times and then I can see which versions are available so there's Java 21 open for example let's go ahead and install that so uh, if I hit that we'll see that it's gonna download um, the uh, in Java 21 and then uh, it'll package it up and then install it on my local machine in just a moment so uh, you know, so SDK man can do it like this. Uh, Chocolatey works in a very similar way. Um, those are the tools that I usually use, but you know, you're of course free to use whatever you want. Um, so then once it's installed, you can see, do you want to use it as your default? So you can set yes, and then it'll use it in all your uh, tabs and in your uh, IDE if you have it uh, pointing to your SDK man a version of uh, Java. I'm going to go ahead and say no so that I can use Java 17 for an existing project, but then I can all already try out uh, 21. So with uh, SDK man, you can do that with SDK use and then uh, Java 21 open. And so in this uh, shell, I'm using Java 21 right now. So let's see if that's true. Java version. And we can see, yes, uh, Java 21 is being used. So then if you want to switch uh, permanently or set it as a default, you can just do SDK uh, default Java 21. Uh, and that would set it as the default. And then every time you open a new shell or in your IDE, it would by default use Java 21. So that's how you can get up and running with Java 21 pretty uh, you know, quickly and easily. And then uh, if you wanna switch back to using uh, a previous version or a different version of uh, Java, you can just do SDK use Java 17, for example, in my case, and then I have different versions of uh, 17 installed. And then uh, I can do um, you know, the install of that particular version, and now I'm back on, uh, on Java 17. So hopefully this was interesting to you. See you in the next uh, little recording, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and, uh, and like this video if you liked it. Um, if you want to reach out or connect, I'm on, uh, of course, on Twitter and LinkedIn and all that stuff, so definitely give me a follow. All right, see you next time. Bye.